Welcome back to the Brock Galactic Survivor and today we played a driller but we are starting here for the first time because I have a different class mod and we'll go for a pure status effect build. I don't know what type of weapons we'll get, I hope I have all of them available, I literally just unlocked it and got excited. So I would say our goal is we have to mine as much nitra as possible and uh, yeah that's it. So um, hey. That's good. So we have a flamethrower and that thing rotates around us and deals permanent damage, well not permanent, but continuous damage to the enemies. Very strong. The main ability of the driller, not miner, it's called driller, is that you get more mining speed the more you mine, up to a cap of plus 50% and then like after 2 seconds or so of not mining it disappears again. But when I just saw this unlock I was like, hell yes, <laughs> you know, because that's a build that I actually wanted to go for but with the normal normal base weapon you start with, it's a gun. Maybe we'll do this in the future. And talking about the future, if you enjoy the video then please consider subscribing and giving the video a like because I have a lot more prepared and I think this will last for quite some time. Enjoy the rest of the video. Because you can make a fun mine build where you focus on drops out of mining. You know when you get the drill, then you focus on get experience while you mine and you just spend the entire time mining. Very powerful to get all kinds of upgrades. But yeah, we are focusing on something else. So you're level 4, I have no idea what the overclock looks like on this. I haven't done that, so also very excited for that. And I would say, let's go over to the drill and see what's in there. I don't even know what would be good for us though. Oh my god, look at all of them dying. Look at this. Isn't it amazing? I really hope that the overclock is that you have additional beams. The corrosive sludge punch. Sludge, <laughs> sludge pump. <laughs> this one is so nice, look at this. So it has a field on the floor where they take continuous damage, but if you spray the enemies with it, even the beam itself applies it to the enemies, which is very good, otherwise it would be horrible. Did I just take the magnet? Oh, that was bad. I would have loved to keep that. I think I will get the pickup radius, sure. Maybe rolling would have been better. Nah, it's fine. Okay, let's let's be careful here. So this is the new stage, by the way, that we are playing on. I have no idea what the stage is about. As we can see, there are some weird vines. The red ones, it looks like you can't mine that. But the other one you can mine, which is good. Like the, the roots here. And I've also stopped taking experience gain entirely. Like every single time I take it, it really feels like it doesn't make a big difference. But maybe I'm just entirely wrong, you know, and in the future this will change. Oh, that was, uh, that was spicy. So what do we have here? Okay, find Nitra while mining. So even though we have way less mining speed here, I think I will still take it. I think it's just broken. If you focus on mining, you get so much Nitra out of that. And with Nitra you can buy weapon upgrades, you know. Um, and I will just try to take the rarest things that give the most power instead of just trying to get them to level 6, level 12. Because let's face it, eventually we hit that either way, but then we would have something way stronger, way better, right? That makes more sense. There are a lot of enemies stuck down there, but let me get this gold here quickly. Oh, look at them. Do you know what will happen to them? I will mine through. There is the Mactera. Oh, that sucker can fly. There's some healing as well. Look at this. Flamethrower, let's go! <laughs> uh, how fast do I mine? Somewhat fast enough, but do you see the poison damage stacking? This is a very low level, by the way. I think we can probably get some amazing upgrades there. Maybe the more enemies that are poisoned, the more take poison damage, you know? Um, okay, these enemies are no choke, though. I have to be a little bit careful. Okay, I want to... That is... Is it better than this? I think it is, right? It saves us a level up. It's one beam. Ooh! Triple to fire beam. Well, not triple, but plus 50%. Uh, okay, what do I do here? <laughs> so the annoying thing is these roots, they regrow. And I would really like to get the healing there. That is also insane. Dude, we can almost upgrade it again. Let me... Uh, uh, I need the gold. Okay, um, Dex, what are you doing? Dex, please be a little bit more careful. Okay, weapon range on these two. This is the most insane thing out of all the upgrades you can get. Because more range means you kill more enemies. And because these are status effects over time and we have a mod that increases our status damage, it's just insane. Okay, so let me get this... Can I get this in time? Uh, this will actually be spicy time-wise. Please don't mess us up, Dex. You have a great run so far. Okay, let's go. I will take a little bit of damage here. 
Ah, eight is okay. Oh, there we go, we got this. Easy peasy. Maybe should have collected more experience, but I think level 13 on stage one is okay. It's good. You know, nothing all... Um... Lifetime, yes. Wait, all of these are insane. <laughs> Wait. 18, 18, 18, that's 54. So I can only get two of these. That means I will get this one. Um, wait, okay, so this is insane, but double the beams is crazy. So let's take that. And then we'll also take, I guess, that's the flamethrower. I think I want to go for reload speed and yeah, that's perfect. I don't think I need to explain that we just had an incredible start. This one is almost level 12. Now we have like three beams on this. We have two beams on the other. We are an AOE clear machine. The only thing I need now is range. Because right now I have to get relatively close to enemies to hit them. Which is not good. You can see it with our HP. And the enemies seem to deal more damage than on normal stages. I might be wrong with that. But there we go. Oh, I didn't see him. One level up. Yes. Yes. What do you have? Uh, damage and minus lifetime. That could actually be good. I will take that. You know, because that deals with enemies faster. And even though damage over time, the fire stacking is nice. Uh, it has the problem that enemies don't die fast enough, you know. But um, I'm noticing there are a lot of resources on the map here. Oh, big swarm detected. Um, 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 I have to walk back into him, sadly. Because I can't get through the... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, explode. Nice. Uh, we may have a problem here. <laughs> um, okay, can I maybe get one? Okay, we got one crystal at least. I need to kill this dude ASAP. Then we have to get the drill. Do you see the stacking damage though? The poison damage? How it keeps going up like crazy? Yeah, it's quite insane. Next up, that is actually the one that I wanted. The wave cooker. Well, I wanted all of these. This one is a ridiculous weapon. So it has this beam. I don't know what kind of overclocking it has. But I would assume it's something like, maybe the longer you hit enemies, the more damage you deal. Oh my god, weapon range. Yes, this is what I want. So my goal is that we make these like super long. And the best part about them is usually weapons have to reload to shoot again, but they can only hit one enemy, right? Well, what we can do is we can just hit like all of the enemies because they are just beams. So if you make this super wide, super long, whatever is possible, then uh, that's just broken. Does anyone of you guys know where the drill is? Uh... <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> I'll be honest. The best thing about the cooker is it goes through walls. You know, that's the best part about it. But I have no idea where the mine is. Where, where did it drop? Usually it sends like a signal. There it is. Yeah, there was a signal. I saw it. Did you also see it? Uh, let's get this stuff. We have so much nitra. Not as much as I would like to have. So hopefully we find a bit more. <laughs> Look at this dude just melting. <laughs> and this is like the best part. I love the poison. Because the beams themselves also apply it. Okay, let's go for reload speed. That sounds good. Uh, there's the mine over there. I think there is no rock around. Maybe... Yeah, okay, this is not counted as rocks. That's important to know. Because it also means my passive effects don't work on them. And uh, more experience or damage. I think I will go for the experience. Like the damage is nice. But the thing is with more experience. You can actually get more level ups. Which is uh, more damage as well. Yo. Okay. Hmm. So we have a lot of damage. But we don't have enough range right now. I re <laughs> <laughs> well we have even more damage now. These flamethrowers are going completely crazy. This is, I want to take this to 18 and get like the ultimate upgrade. The one at 18 seems to be unique from the others. Like it's a, an especially strong one. Can I maybe get a magnet somewhere? Also healing. We have 152 HP. Wait a second. What? When did that happen? Wait, what? Okay. Also, yeah, I have two of these, but they don't go off at the same time. They start at separate times. It's a little bit weird. The best part for me is I don't even have to focus on the enemies, really. Like, I, <laughs> I can just keep running away. I will take maybe a little bit damage here. Nope, because my cooker just goes through the wall. Oh, um, I messed up. I messed up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um, uh, okay, I have to run away from this dude. And the problem is, yes, status effect damage. Beautiful. The problem is, he's about to die. Did he... I think he shoot for the rock, right? Let me get that. Okay, there's an exploding boy. You can get closer to them and then walk away again and have them exp 
can you just go off and have them explode okay i have to run through i i don't want to lose this now like this run has been so insane so far okay I don't want to take this, I will take this one instead. Reason being, if this is at 18, we can still upgrade it, but we can't overclock it anymore. And I would rather have both on a higher level. Okay, so we have 120, that is so much. Reload speed is perfect. Max HP, I will take it. You get two level ups, that's good. And you get a level up, that's okay. You get a level up. I think I will look for something better. Oh, come, hör auf mit dem Käse. So, do we want to have more damage or more status effect damage? I think I would go for this. And I can roll one more time. That's... I mean... Wait. Wait, 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 wait. 18! At burning zones on the ground or... Plus three beams! Okay, listen, this is... This sounds broken, but I... I... <laughs> so, we have a total of six beams now. Do I understand that right? Um, can you please go? Oh, 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 this is a dream. Look at this. This is a dream. I wish, I hope this one has it as well. Okay, I have to get this to 12. This is why I really like not overclocking on my own. Like, I just avoid it. Um, I will actually roll here. Yep, that sounds good. Le uh, purple, not lila. <laughs> lila is German. Um, yeah, because like then you see these amazing things. I'm really excited to see what this one overclocks with, like what happens there. But also this one, like what is level 12? Because plus one beam does make sense. But what else is in there? You know, maybe it's like make it way bigger. I really hope there's just something in there that makes it super long. I need range. That is the most important thing right now. But also coverage, like just having range, but then it only hits like a small beam that's like, yeah, you know? Okay. <laughs> the flamethrower. I need reload speed on the flamethrower, by the way. Very important. No. These guys. Ah, I saw the room here. Let's take it. Nice. Um, we have so much damage, though. But this is a little bit ridiculous, and not just a little bit. Crit damage on blue, good enough, I'll take that. There's the mine, and we'll get more nitra. My goal is we want to have at least 54 nitra, because this would be three common upgrades. Well, no, three good upgrades. Common is 14, 14, 14. So what do we have here? Set the ground on fire, quick firing weapon that shoots behind you, or... I will see if there's something else. No, it's only these. So I think... Because kinetic is not elemental damage, I will go for the incendiary grenade, right? Because this one sucks, and this one is also not that great. Yeah, let's go for the fire. Because that's an AoE effect on the floor. Yeah, I like that. That sounds good. Big swarm detected. Alright, please don't hurt me. We have to kill this dude somehow. Hey! <laughs> okay, there we go. Like, once it's active, it's so good. But while it's not active, it's really not great. More damage for the golds? Yeah, sure. 10% damage right now. That's okay. Status effect damage, beautiful, because we only have status damage at all times, you know? So, uh, uh, um, okay, so the thing is, these ranged attacks of the enemies deal way more damage than I thought it would. I will roll here. Status effect damage, beautiful. There are ranged attacks, careful. The thing is, we do have a lot of damage now that I can almost just walk through the enemies and... I can't do this. My heart can only take so much. <laughs> Look at the amount of beams we have! How is this legal? This dude was like an elite and he just got nuked. Oh my god. Okay, you know what? I will focus a bit more on the flamethrower. You know, it's worth it. It's worth it. I want to upgrade the rest, don't get me wrong, but we are nuking even strong guys. The only issue is I'm taking way too much. <laughs> this, is, this is a dream. <laughs> Don't wake me up, please. I just want to stay in this dream. Okay, K keep me here. Keep me here. No, it's time to evolve the other things, though. Like, I just need something more while this is not active. That's kind of important. Okay, how are we looking? I have no gold. I have no nitra. I need to find that stuff. You know what? I will ignore this stuff. I will find it on my own one day. <laughs> we are even killing these big boys here. Usually, you have to focus on them, but we are like, yep, we have AoE. We just kill them. 
Um, lifetime or pickup radius? This is so good, but I will take the lifetime because everything we have is lasting. Every single weapon, you know? So, I, I will not say no and just take... Look at this dude. I'm not even focusing on him. I'm just running away and he, he, will, he will just die. Okay, to be fair, that's the same case with every single weapon, but the point is, we should still kill everything else, you know? Usually when you run away and you run into enemies, your weapons focus on them, but now it's like, I can't even get away from the dude, you know? <laughs> He's just dying. Okay, I want these little guys, though. We said he didn't farm a lot this time. But man, I can't, I can't stop him from dying. Uh, okay, let, let me get these guys. So there we go. Nine, the boss died. <laughs> That's a problem with damage over time. Can I get through here? Nice. Oh, that's so much experience if we can get this. Oh my god, yes. Weapon range or this. I will go for the imagining. It was only two levels though. I'm not sure if that was really worth it. Pickup radius, lifetime. I will this time take the pickup radius because it is helpful. Otherwise, you have to walk into the enemies. And more pickup radius means I'm safer, you know? I can do stuff like this. <laughs> How many beams do I have? One, two, three, four. We have eight beams, right? Do we? So it starts with two, plus one, plus three is six, plus two is eight. Yeah, I can't believe that. So you get upgraded, that's that's for sure. And we have increased rotation speed, that's the wave cooker. Less damage, but increases the blight burn stacks. Yes, that sounds perfect. Then we can give you a level up. I will actually not do that because I would like to get this to a higher level. So let's roll. You have... Oh. Okay. I'm, I have to do that. I have to do that. We'll, we'll get it to 12 now. Okay. So the problem is we are already on the fourth stage. That means we don't have a lot available to us. And I would like to just focus on these two a bit. Maybe we can get another one to 18. Having two at 18 would be perfect. Yep, that sounds good. Uh, more damage and reload speed, which is actually good. Uh, lifetime, yes, 100%. <laughs> this will now just last forever. Like, we just doubled the lifetime of that. Are you insane? Like, sure, I would have loved to have more beams on that. To be honest, that would have been great. But at the same time, if it just keeps rotating around forever, or is the lifetime is the right lifetime the rotating thing? Or is that how long it stays on the floor? That's it could also be both, you know. I know I should mine everything, you know. But at the same time, like I should mine the resources for permanent level ups. But I feel like I will What is happening? What is happening there? <laughs> this poison stays on the floor forever now. Okay. Uh, plus 15% damage, this is almost level 12. Oh, ranged enemies, careful. I mean, the thing is, I do have a lot of area now to cover. <laughs> look, at that, look at all the damage they are taking. <laughs> He's just getting melted. Like, he doesn't even know what happens. He's like, oh yeah, more weapon range, that's what I needed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look, at the, look at this. <laughs> like, how busted is this? Usually you have to run away from enemies, and for us it's like... No, I'm just, I'm, I'm just killing them. And keep in mind, the most insane part is the poison now deals damage over... T like, more d like the longer they take poison damage, the more damage they take. So if you have a giga tanky enemy, like, mm, I don't know, maybe a boss that we are about to face, a big one, then you just deal a ginormous amount of damage. Oh, the drill is there soon. One, three, three, seven, and one attack. We did... It stacked up to one, three, three, seven damage. So this is what's happened with the stacking up. Okay. Okay. Um, I gotta say this is by far the hardest stage I've ever played on, um, but this feels a little bit like Kindergarten right now. Except for the projectiles, that's a bit annoying. That's perfect. Yeah, and what do you have? Increases beam length but reduces width. Increases beam width. Well, that's ironic. Do we want to reach further out and target the enemy with the most HP? Let's do that. Because now it will always target tanks, I guess. Which is nice, because the rest what we have is more AoE for weak enemies, right? And then this cooking beam, oh my god, that has insane range. Wait, oh perfect. Do you see that? There, do you see the range it has? <laughs> Next, you have to do something. There's a mech. I just accidentally picked it up. That's not great. Uh, let's roll here and let's go for... Which one is better? I think the sludge is better to take to 18. I don't even think we'll be able to do it unless I get a lot of nitra now that I can buy it. Uh-oh. Uh, okay, these are actually tough enemies. 
Never mind, they're just dead. <laughs> I was actually scared about them. I was like, oh, this, this will be complicated to not take damage, but nope. We just did it. Okay, this, this is gone. Nice. What I would like to have is actually just HP and regeneration. Oh! Y yes, that's good. Reload speed on that one. Uh, a small chance to find Nitra. I will take it. But I really have to get going now, and I need to mine a lot. Okay, more damage on all beams. All of our weapons are beams. We don't care about this little thingy there. Uh, can I get some Nitra, please, from mining? Uh-oh. Is that the final boss? <laughs> that was the final boss, yeah. Um, okay. Well, that was easy. And this exploded dude, I don't think he'll survive all too long. Okay, the good thing is, we are close to the exit point. That means I can collect some ex Actually, I have to be careful. Oh my... God, what 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 have we created? More damage on status effects. Yes. Oh, there was Nitra. I can't take it anymore. There was also healing. Just imagine. Oh. Uh, oh. Wait. Okay. So which one is more important? I can only buy one of them. I think I will actually go for that because this might mean we could get to 18. Let's hope for the best. I love it when I land and there's just... How long is this range? Do you see that? But yeah, I love it when I land and I just instantly get healing. That's great. Uh, wait, Nitro doesn't help me anymore. Oh, that was so sad. Like, I wish the, the last stage would have been a little bit better with the resources. I got quite unlucky because I just walked into all the wrong directions. Um, there is... Yeah, but we don't need that anymore, right? I guess I can get this one. But what I... Well, gold is good for rerolling. Never mind. I need gold, yeah. And if I find one of these eggs that spawn the elites, I think I will just immediately do that. Because then they don't chase us around and could damage us over time, you know, but instead we, we just deal with them right away. Maybe it will be way harder than I think, you know. That would also be interesting to see. So, there's an egg. How fast do we destroy you? This is just with the flamethrower, by the way. He's not poisoned. Yet, now he's poisoned. <laughs> Did you see that? Like, the moment he got, the, the, the balls got poisoned, it just exploded pretty much. Okay. Oh, um, uh, I didn't see that there was a wall. So, um, you, you stack up in damage, yeah? 200, uh, 300, 400, maybe? Um, that was nice. Yeah, good job. <laughs> Do I even want to walk around? I feel like I just want to farm the enemies as much, uh, as much as possible and prepare an area where I can fight in. This would be insane, but I think we just want to take this to 18, right? It's, it's a dream, it's a hope that we can do that, so let's work on that. And I have to get more gold that I can reroll more for it. The best thing would be to just get a beauty upgrade and then take like more upgrades into this one. Yeah. Uh, the biggest issue is the enemies don't really get through to me. Like, do you see that? They get stuck everywhere. Uh, I can't get through here. Maybe I can get through this one? Yes, okay, and all the enemies immediately get cooked. <laughs> <laughs> like, the moment we touched them with our flamethrower, they were just all dead. How is this so insane? Because the thing is, usually when you take when you take utility, so you have AoE coverage, then you deal way less damage, but you hit way more enemies. Oh. <laughs> but in our case, we just kill everything. Okay, one more level up in this. So, find gold, find experience. I will actually take the experience. Because even if no more enemies get killed and I can't collect experience, I could still get it from rocks maybe, I guess. Like a little bit at least. I would have loved to have the 70 HP and the regeneration. Wait, that could be the level up that I need. Come on, come on, come on. It was so close. We almost have it. There's more gold for rerolls, that means I can reroll a lot. And I think if I have another level up after the 18, I will use that for legendary rerolls. So I use all of the gold that I have just in hopes that we get one. Okay, um, it's not here, it's, oh, that would be insane, weapon range, but I'll not gamble, I'm sorry. Oh, really? Oh, come on, yes, yeah, worth it, worth it. <laughs> that is the poison, by the way, that is the poison. <laughs> Here. This is so beautiful. This is heaven. 
Like, look at the, look at the damage stacking, by the way, on this poor dude. It starts so slow, and then suddenly, like, he's half HP, and the HP goes... <laughs> you know, it's just gone. <laughs> oh, I'm happy. This is, like, the best thing in this game. Okay, so I have to mine out the area. I don't want to move away from here. So this means in this area, we'll fight the final boss. If I can get another level up, I'll try to get a legendary or range upgrade because I don't know the boss yet. That's a damage up. That's not worth it. I need something way better. This is the final roll. Um, yeah, I'll go for crit chance, I guess. Because we also have crit damage. So these are all stats here. If you want to take a look at them. Dealing more damage may have been good. Just to get it back to zero. Uh, yeah. Oh, hey. Look at that. If, if you want to read that. Yeah, there are all the informations. Let's go. Okay. Um, where's the boss? I'm actually really scared because bosses, like, they can easily one-shot you. <gasps> it's just the charging dude? I thought you would get a different boss. Okay, so we start very low on the damage we have on him, but it's stacking the longer he takes damage, right? I wonder if it expires after a certain time or if this infinitely stacks up. Okay, he's dashing right into a huge puddle of acid. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Look at the damage though. <laughs> what is that? This was the easiest fight I've ever had. Actually, no, the turrets were easier. I'll admit that, okay? They were easier. But like, this entire run has been ridiculously e Yeah, great. Okay, sure. But yeah, this entire run has been ridiculously easy. If we evaluate this with a coolness factor, this build has won. That's just better than the turrets. I love the turrets, don't get me wrong. But, like, like, look look at this, okay? Look at this. <laughs> Isn't this amazing? Come on, trigger the other ones. Isn't this amazing? Isn't this, like, the best thing ever? Yeah, I needed a thumbnail, okay? <laughs> what is that? An artifact? Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Well, um, yeah, we had, like... Oh my god, the corrosive did so much damage. And it was like the second one that we got to 18. So that would have been way more insane to focus on that. But that, that was insane. Just for you to understand how much fun I have with this game. Today, the first episode will go live. So I already did four recordings before the first one even got out. This is how much I enjoyed it. You were shit. I'm sorry, but the wave cooker was useless. Yeah, even the incendiary grenade did more. I shouldn't have done that. that, that one is bad, but that, oh, to be honest, it was about these two. Well, I hope you really enjoyed it, and if you did, then don't forget to subscribe, and give the video a like. I'll see what I can do in this game, because we are technically through it now, but you can of course fine-tune that and go for gimmicky builds, so I'll think about stuff. See you next time, and I'm out.